Good day everyone, my name is Kuplet and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Mishaps. Um, this video is kinda late, I was originally you know, supposed to put an episode up on the last Thursday, but uh, I really didn't have the time. And I was actually supposed to get this video up on Tuesday, but I'm currently recording this Tuesday night, because I really did not have the time to, you know, I, I couldn't really get started on it much earlier because other things came up. Getting all sorts of berries because I've kind of eaten through a bunch. Oh, I forgot I still had some planted crops out here. Magical crops. I moved um, most of my farming operation inside. I was going to keep the you know, cotton and, of course, the uh, reeds over there outside. Uh, but I moved most of my operations inside when it comes to growing stuff. Might as well grab these while I'm out here. Doot, doot. And all the reeds. And of course I'm still plan I'm planting trees outside as well. Just recently started doing that because I was really, really low on wood. Um, so I started planting some trees and chopping them down. Uh, leaving those goes up guys up for the moment because I don't need them at the well moment. Also started using cobblestone for my door now. Ta-da! Instead of just using dirt. But yeah, I'm recording this uh, Tuesday night because I unfortunately wasn't able to get it uh, to it much earlier. I'm actually recording this at... It's currently 8.40 p.m. Um, it took several hours to finish up the work inside the bunker here. And, of course, I couldn't get the earliest start on it, so this is probably not going to be up on Tuesday. Because um, I have to, after recording this, uh, edit it, and then I would have to upload it afterwards. But I'm going to bed a little bit early tonight, so I'm not, probably not going to have time to, well, almost definitely not going to have time to upload it. Um, I have to go to bed early tonight because I'm going into town in the morning and I have to get up really early. But I'm going to try to get this, obviously, uploaded. Tomorrow, you know, after I get back from coming into town and before I get to work, or go to off to work, I should say. So yeah, I, coming in here, you can already see a bit of the work I've done. I've taken out most of the stuff up here, just left the table with the old wooden sword on it. Um, and this is now just a nice, clean hallway. It doesn't have all this stuff over here. And our farm is nice and enclosed, because I have moved the smeltery over to our new crafting room. See, I planted a, you know, some crops here, planted our ender lily seeds in here for now. Um, I planted these here before I had the chest here, I actually had the chest over here, but I just knocked this wall out so I could have another entrance to the room over here instead of having to go around the corner all the time. Makes it a little easier to get to from the, uh, well yeah, you can see this dug out, um, the crafting room is down there. So it makes it a little easier to get to. Um, but since I just moved that, now I have end of the list sitting right in front of it. I'll probably get move those guys over to this corner once they finish their first growth. But see all the stuff I have in here. Got a good amount of essence done. Got our first two bits of nature essence. Which can be used for a few things. But the main thing I would want to use it for is this magical food. Three hunger, health region three. That is really nice. And you get four of those things for one nature essence and a bunch of you know easy to make crops which we have you know plenty of so i might make that at some point especially if i don't find any whatchamacallits any lapis anytime soon because i've been yeah, i did a little bit of digging downstairs not too much because i was mainly focusing on trying to get the bunker a bit more dug out um, but did a little bit of digging done, so still haven't found any lapis. Have found some diamonds, which we are going to mine out today. Um, but you know, otherwise, you know, no lapis yet, so can't heal. Except for, you know, with that food. No magical food. You also see I have a cow in here. He snuck into the bunker, so I just kind of pinned him up against the corner here. Uh, useful to have for you know, when I originally make the animal pen. Which isn't a high, not a high priority yet, but will be done at some point. Uh, dug this area out. This will be our storage room right now. There's you know, obviously not much to it or any organization. You just got a few things in the wall and a couple chests here, and that's really it. Not sure how I'm going to organize it quite yet. I'm still not sure about the entrances either. And we have you know 
this you know little really really skinny entryway uh, over here just so I can you know, get in from the staircase to the mine shaft real easily but I kind of feel like a door here like right where the these guys are would be a little better and like a, a larger door down here instead of you know this little tiny one but this one is you know, obviously in line with the middle of this if you, you know, make it bigger we'd have to extend the actual room which I'm not keen on doing or otherwise you'll know, make a door right here I guess which would be right in the middle of this hallway I don't know I'll try to figure out the entryways at some point but for now you know just got a few things there it's not much I have a second bed in here just you know for being able to sleep and we have this whole area dug out we have this hallway here which will be our main hallway into the main mountain down here but this is our crafting room nice you know decent size got a couple side rooms that uh, have you know, little doorways but I may just like open them up fully you know when I eventually use them I'm not sure what I'm going to use the side rooms for yet uh, but nice big area so we got plenty of room to put things in and got our smeltery in the back here where I have been smelting up a bunch of iron which we are going to use today 108 ingots in there uh, very little fuel left but we will be you know refilling that here soon they so moved all the stuff in here um, I made a few things to you know, help out with everything. You made a dolly here, which allows you to not only pick up the barrels from you know, just another barrel spawner, which is what the dolly is from, but also allows you to pick up chests as well. Uh, you get slowness to mining fatigue too while you have it in your inventory, or while you have you know, a chest picked up. But you can pick it up, plop it back down, and it will keep all the stuff that was in it in the same order. So it's very useful for moving everything around. Otherwise, just kind of brought everything, you know, into here when it comes to crafting. Of course, got all our little patterns and casts and everything. Uh, the dolly, I actually want to put it back in here. Made a little clock, uh, smelted up uh, our gold. So we've got five gold ingots and a gold block left over. But I wanted to use a clock in order to allow it myself, well, allow it, make it easier, I should say, to uh, go to sleep you know, when the sun sets. That way, not having to run out and you know check the sky, I can just check the clock. It's a lot easier because that's mainly because uh, the mobs spawning up above us slow down the game a lot. <laughs> so um, I like to be able to sleep when it gets to nighttime when I'm up here on the you know top of the bunker. When I'm downstairs mining, is it doesn't really matter, um, but it's, when we're up here, it really really helps with the frame rate issues. 124 ingots of iron. Now you're wondering, well, what is all this iron sitting in here for? What do you need 124 ingots for? Well, we need to make a few things. Um, Crescent hammer is one of the things we need to make. That just requires three iron ingots and an ingot of ten. So that's quite easy to do. Of, uh, actually, going to grab a single tin ore here. I don't think we have any. You know, grab a single tin ore and, and just make a couple ingots of that but the main thing we need all that iron for is well two things first up we want to make a tool forge which requires four blocks of iron plus three seared bricks blocks and the tool station which you know, we can just already have over there we just pick it up but we need you know four blocks of iron for that so let's start bringing those out and that will eat up quite a lot of iron because there's nine iron ingots per block so that is 36 ingots obviously I'm gonna choose through all of that but I'm gonna choose through a good amount of that let that pour out and then set the Tin on the bottom and get a couple of ingots of that. And go back to doing the iron blocks. And we'll need three ingots of iron for the crystal hammer. So we get 
two blocks, two ingots, three blocks. So this would be the last ingot and block that we'll need. Since the block is still forming, oh god, that is really annoying having that instead over there. Let us make the crescent hammer first. Ta da! Crescent hammer from thermal expansion. Crescent hammer is um, very, very useful, obviously, for not only thermal expansion, but you know it works with you know a lot of other mods as well. Uh, tin ingot, we don't need you now, but we can take. Now take our tool station here, lop it in the middle there. Oh, because of the position I have this chest here for all of our you know, smelted and you know, other you know, goods here, and this is just for ores that need to go in here, uh, it actually shows up in here, which is convenient. And it is nighttime, so let us take a quick nap over here. Just so no mobs start spawning and slowing everything down. So we quickly walk over here. Come grab our... Where is it? Seared brick. Hey, run back. Alright. So we need some seared bricks, which actually, you know, we take this out. Could just could just do it in our player inventory, but prefer to do it in here. Three seared bricks, dual station, four blocks of iron, and we have a tool forge. Why did I just like that? I didn't need to play. I just need to place it. Put that back. And Tool Forge will allow us to make advanced tools, including the main one that we want to get, a hammer. We'll get to this in a minute. Now, for now, the other thing that we want to use all this massive amount of iron on is, if we bring any eye back up, do, 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 we want a... Not a tub. God, what was it called now? <laughs> uh, it's not a, called a barrel. Uh, I'm blanking on the name all of a sudden. Well, let's just look. Use for iron. Use for cauldron. There we go. Drum. Yes, yes, we want a drum. All right. And a drum will require three iron ingots on either side, two rated pressure plates, which are each two ingots of iron, and a cauldron, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingots of iron. So it takes quite a bit of iron. I'm just going to actually make blocks because I'll make this process a little speedier, make a block and then turn that into ingots. But a drum is from extra utilities and can hold 256 barrels of a single liquid, which is incredibly useful for filling up the lava, because these things can only hold four buckets of liquid, and the first level of the portable tank can only hold eight buckets, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it can only hold eight buckets of liquid, so it can only hold eight buckets of lava, which is only two of these, so it's not that useful, but a barrel can hold 256. It takes a fair amount of iron, but it holds a lot of lava, so it's really good for you take it on the go and fill it with lava and bring it back. You just need to have either this is right click with a stick or shift right click with a wrench. I prefer to just use the wrench rather than carry a stick around with me. All right, so in order to make that, start out with the cauldron and get a weighted pressure plate. Another weighted pressure plate. And it takes just under two blocks of iron. And we have a drum. So we can use that to uh, pick up lava. And I'm going to turn this block back into ingots. And put it in there. This is where we have some iron ingots on hand. This is the iron I'll keep in here for the moment because we want to think about what we want to do when it comes to making a hammer. 
Now hammer can of course uh, mine out a three by three block area of you know well, whatever. It basically mines a three by three you know block hole in the stone, which will be really useful for mining downstairs. It takes what is this two large plates, a hammerhead, and a tough tool rod, all of which are you know advanced you know cast things, and we don't have any of this stuff yet. So we need to actually make some patterns for that. Do I have... Oh, I have wood in my inventory. Okay. That works. I just make that many. I think I'll need three patterns. There we go. And let's get the patterns that we need. So, tough rod, large plate, and hammerhead. There we go. And we can throw these in here. And then we need to make stone versions of these. Now these advanced parts take a lot more resources. Remember the old parts, you know, the main pieces took one piece of material and the lesser pieces like the tool rod and the binding took half. Well now the lesser pieces take three and the main pieces take eight. So it takes a lot more resources to make all this stuff. I'll make a stone large plate, stone hammerhead, and a stone tool rod. And we may make need to make casts of these things. So we'll take our three aluminum brass and throw that in here to be re-smelted. Now we'll actually be using I believe be using this stone hammer head. Um I'm trying to remember actually if it's the large plates or the stone hammer head that dictates what the or the hammerhead that dictates what material it, you use to repair this. I believe it is the hammerhead that dictates um, the repair material, and we'll be wanting to use stone for that in order to make uh, it e very, very easy to repair because we're going to be using it a lot. It's going to get a lot of wear and tear, you know, you know wear down easily, so it wants want it to be a material that is very easy to get, that we'll have plenty of, and uh, can repair it with. And stone is, well, the answer to that. So put our aluminum brass on the bottom just by clicking on it. Take that guy out. Put our stone tough rod in there. Get a cast of that. And a stone hammerhead. Uh, this is putting stone hammerhead is more so for future purposes, if not for now. Because we will want a better hammer at a later time for another area, and well, we just don't need it now, but I'm making one for, um, since we already have, you know, the hammerhead here, might as well. I'm going to put the ingot cast back in there, and take these guys out so that we have room to put them in there when we're done. Now, one thing I'm going to do is actually put the stone back in here and make another stone large plate just so we can kind of test this so all stone would be 589 durability two hearts my level iron mine speed 1.6 and three modifiers now what do we want to use for the large plates and the rod i'm gonna get our book out for that uh, I believe this should be the right one. No. And yeah, I put it back in the right spot. This should be the one. Yep. All right. So for the handle, the best thing we got, I believe, is 
old iron and bronze. And we have a bunch of iron already in our smeltery, so it's probably best just to use that. Because I don't think we have anything better than 1.3 right now. Slime would be really good, but we don't have it. Um, bronze handle, you know, reinforced one, I believe. Iron is the same, reinforced one, yeah. So either one, the hammer, the handle would give us the same effect. So we'll put the tough rod cast in here. And make sure it's just iron in there, yep. And that will use up three ingots of iron. You can see it started at 58, now it's at 55. So we can put our iron tough rod in there. And of course, you, when you click on that button, it goes spearing out. And you can see it increases it by 1.5. Rip. That's a big increase. Does it add its durability too? Because 1. times 1.3. Should not be that much of an increase unless it's adding the iron. Stone is 131. I guess it must add it onto it. So bronze would actually be better in that case because it has higher durability. So it's actually test that as well. We'll put three ingots of bronze in here. How much lava? Will be? Oh, we are out of lava, so I'll actually have to get more lava here. Well, since we got to get more lava, might as well take this down and show you what things look like downstairs and also take another sleep. And we'll grab a diamond while we're down there as well, since I have mentioned. Have found some diamonds. I haven't mound them up yet. So let's go down here. Still same as always down here in the <laughs> staircase. Nothing's changed here. Do, 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 do. Get a little bit faster. It's really hard to you know, try and get a sprint off while you're on stairs. All right, so lava, we can go over here. We have another lava area, and there's actually a cave over there. We'll just grab a handful of buckets. So we have a bucket on us. Ta-da! Now I've got a thousand. Now I've got two thousand. Now I've got three thousand. And I'll keep on adding up. And one thing about lava down here that you do have to be careful of is deep lava can spawn lava monsters. So you always got to watch out about you know, leaving just lava lying around your mine shafts because there's a possibility that you may end up getting some lava monsters. And while we're down here, uh, I might as well also show off something that I have added to the mod pack. I had been complaining earlier about uh, the inability to, you know, quickly check light levels to see if mobs could spawn. Well, the issue there is that there is a mod within the mod pack, and I'm forgetting the name off the top of my head, which I uh, should have remembered it. I should have written it down or something. I'll try to get it for next time. Um, but there is a mod within uh, this mod pack. What is that? Ferrosaur. Oh, good. That conflicts with any eye because it you know changes mob spawning behavior, so it changes its vanilla you know some of the vanilla list when it comes to light levels and it breaks any eye's light tool. There is, however, uh, there are however, other mods that can uh, light up the uh, you know. Yeah, they can. Up, that can show the light levels and you know, give you a visual like any eyes you know f7 does and the one I'm using is I believe it's called a light level overlay of I don't quite know for sure if that's the name I will try to remember to put a link in the description uh, for it 
Hey, cool palette. Remember to put a link in the description for that. Um, right, so, you know, I'm not completely sure on if that's the right name. But if I turn it on, ta-da! Lots of little green lights showing that everything is lit up. And it'll be red uh, if it is you know, a place where mobs can spawn. And the, the has a couple different options for the overlay. The one I'm using here has you know, all these little green squares and the red squares get bigger and bigger if it's you know darker and darker um you know on top of you know it, it just being red i'm a small a lot i guess you know well okay apparently this doesn't work <laughs> you have a stick on us i guess the crescent hammer doesn't work on the lover drum for some reason I would have thought it was. Well, we need a crescent hammer in the future anyway, so it was good to make one. Uh, extra utilities. It says right click with stiff or ship right click with a wrench. Huh. Odd. Oh well. We had to stick on us, so we were able to pick it up that way. And turn the light low, the light overlay off because we do not need that. So come on up here. There we go. Back through our storage room because this is the quickest way to get back over. At the moment, at least. All right. Knock this out. Put our eleven. Buckets of lava right there, and use it to refill our smeltery. There we go. And then now we can put in our bronze ingots. And put this guy back down. Now we have to think what do we want to use for our large plates? And he does give the description of the hammer here. It also, the hammer also does uh, is useful as a weapon too. It has smite too, so it does two to four extra damage uh, against the undead. And it has high durability. Uh, it still has very high durability, make up for the constant beating it will receive, which is very nice. What do we want to use for our stone plates? And stone plates uh, should increase the durability as well, and will give us uh, their material trait. Too. I'm not sure if they don't remember if they uh, influence the mining speed as well or not, but we we'll want to make sure we get use one that have high durability and a good trait. So looking, elamite is you know, quite nice, but I'm not sure if we have the resource to make it. We might, but. It's a bit expensive to make. Uh, slime, no. Cobalt, I don't know, we don't have. Uh, again, bronze would be pretty good. And I, I do actually want to look up. Can we make alamite? Whoop. Alamite is 5 aluminum, 2 iron, and 2 obsidian. So no, we don't have any obsidian yet. And I forgot to grab the diamond while we were down there. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll get it here in a second. Because we will need it. Uh, let's put the bronze on the bottom. So more than likely, I will probably use bronze plates for this thing. Now let's see if the bronze rod makes a difference. No, it does not. I'm guessing the 1.3 um, just has a slightly different effect with the hammers because the extra durability. I'm not quite sure. But we will want, I believe, bronze plates. And this will require eight, though, versus you know, just the three for the rod. So let's ask, actually grab this guy again. How do we make bronze? Because I always forget. Three copper and a tin. So we want 
to three copper and a tin. And we can throw this guy back in here too. Not the ferris, the tin. It's actually our first ferris war. All right, so while that smelts up, we are going to do an iron large plate as a test. This will take up eight iron ingots, so it takes up nearly a full block of iron. It takes a very long time to pour because of that. There we go. Iron large plate. Back to the right thing. Yep, increases the durability and the mining speed. But did not add a modifier, interestingly enough. Interesting. Maybe only the head modifies it? Hmm. 11 ingots of bronze. Let's get a large plate of that. See if it makes a difference with the iron. Indeed it does. Faster mining speed, much more durability. So we'll want to make another bronze plate. And we got three ingots in there. So it basically takes a full use of an alloy. You know, so all, all four of these you know, ore blocks are going to be used up for this plate, essentially. And we can put the, well, I'll keep the iron plate for the moment because I wanted to see something else as well once we get this. Although I suppose I could you know, try it now. It does not give us reinforced. All right. That doesn't give us stone bound. It doesn't mention stone bound being on this either. Oh, right here. Yeah, there's this stone. Yeah, I forgot. It doesn't say it over here. You have to actually hover over it. Stonebound reinforced. Stonebound reinforced. Yeah. And no matter you know, even if we use both the bronze and the iron, it's only either one only has reinforced one, and it gives us reinforced one on that. All right. So is that smelted? It looks like it is. Let's make a plate of that. Come on. Hopefully I am indeed doing this correctly with the stone head. <laughs> I'll give you a little upset if it isn't. Yeah, it's quite the increase. 2.4 mining speed. It's really good. And this guy can throw back in to be smelted back up. And we'll just have a bunch of extra iron that we can turn into blocks and ingots. What would I want to call this guy? Bronze head, stone hammer head, oh, bronze plates, stone hammer head, iron tough rod. Hmm. Can't really think of a good name for this guy. I'm just going to call it Bama. For no good reason. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this is correct. It'll be 3,000 durability, 2.4 mining speed, mine level iron, and three modifiers. Pro Tinkerer, achievement kit. Let's see here. But stone in, well, it doesn't say anything there. We haven't used it yet, so let's do a test. Get by three area. Now oh, we've used it. Yes, it is indeed repaired by Gull. Phew! <laughs> Wanted to make sure there. Because it has been a little while since I made advanced tool. So it'll be easily repairable, which is really good. Loss of 0 0.003 hearts, I'm guessing because of the turbility. 
bonus point zero one from Stonebound. And lost the point zero three hearts from the durability. Means it's only one point five hearts down from two. Now one of the things that we can do with this is start to add modifiers. One of the things modifiers you can add is you know with this guy, the main thing I would want to add is nighttime. Oh yeah, that's like midnight. Do you even notice the time passing that far? Wait to sunrise. One of the main things we'd want to would want to get is speed. Because this guy is just meant to really hit the tunnels. We just to tunnel um the pick would be more useful for grabbing the individual blocks. So like this is pick would be more the thing that I would put like luck on. You'll know, use um the Lapis Luzili but luck on it and get fortune out of that. Redstone uh, I would use on the hammer to speed it up to allow for the tunneling to go by faster. So adding a redstone will give us haste and increase our speed. The, well, if we go to the actual two station over here, you can see it kisses up to 2.85 from 2.41 and up to 3.28. So you can increase the speed rather quickly. And that's the main thing I'm going to give this guy. And I guess you have to put in the in five individually. I'm just going to put it here. There we go. Make it a little easier. And just add as much redstone as I can at this point. There we go. And get up to 7.28 speed. Well, to 7 speed, really, because we got a slight bonus at the moment. There we go. And then, where did I put the garbage can? Oh, the garbage can is over here. And then we can just get rid of these stone large plates and the stone tough rod because we don't need those. Oops, don't want my hammer up there. And put these casts away. And put the ingot cast back here. And now that we have this hammer, no longer need to use rock biter for anything. I'm keeping my inventory for the moment though, but I'll be able to put that guy away. Retire him. But for the moment, let us go back downstairs and get something else that we needed for this guy. Because we're currently using two modifiers for redstone, but we want to use that third one for something else. We want to use it for diamond. Adding the diamond onto the hammer will allow us to mine up uh, blocks that an iron or, you know, like we have right here, a bronze pickaxe can normally mine up. So we'll be able to mine up the ores on its own. And we just use the pick to get the stuff that's off on the side. So you can see, because I have some diamond here, we just want to grab one for now. Leave the others for when we hopefully have, oops, hopefully have a fortune pick. So we could just come over here to this little tool station. Uh, might as well repair it. <laughs> and then with our last remaining modifier, uh, we still have room for six more redstone in this, but the last modifier, put a diamond on it, which gives us plus 500 durability and allows us, give us mining level obsidian instead of mining level iron. Mining level iron means that we can mine up to, you know, iron ore. This allows us to mine up to obsidian, and of course increases our durability by a fair amount. Which makes this a nice work hammer. And we'll be upgrading our pick at some point as well to you know, likely be a stone pick with you know, diamond on it, most likely. 
or may even just you know use this guy for some time and get like a much much better pickaxe down the line uh, kind of see but we won't be needing rock biter now so we can actually you know mine a lot more easily just to kind of show you how it makes this process easier all you got to do is well actually put the torches up here just do this and well that kind of screwed that over <laughs> Come on, here. All right. Oop. Mm, forge model loader warning of some kind. Uh, let's get these guys here and fill in that water. One, two, three, four. And we can put the light down there. Let's see some lead ore. Just mine it right on up. Feel this in. And it just makes mining much quicker and more easily. Whereas you know, previously had to mine each one of those blocks with a stone pick. It took forever. Well, now it's nice and fast. So I can actually get more resources and get started on some much better stuff. And some coal down here I'm noticing. No! Aww. Deep lava. You took my iron. Some deep lava, too. There we go. That coal I'm probably just going to ignore. <laughs> I got a good amount of coal already, and that coal is near lava, so it's not the safest. That'll be it for this episode. Ran on a little long. Um, but. We have a good mining tool now, so I'll be actually be able to get a lot more resources a lot more quickly, so it won't be quite so much of a pain. It'll quite, take quite so much time to uh, get, you know, get ready for episodes. So I'll be able to get the resources much more easily. And we have our, you know, m most of the main places that we need uh, for our bunker and at least initially dug out. Of course, none of this stuff is decorated and none of it will be for some time. I have to figure out what style I want to do all of this stuff in right now. It's just kind of a basic dig out. And of course, these big rooms, rooms are going to be you know, higher up as well. So I still have more digging to do eventually as well. Um, is that three ingots? Let's get you out of there. Yeah, got stuff to help make life a little easier helpfully help make me miss deadlines a little less often and a bunch of iron i'm gonna leave in there for a the moment but yeah that will be it for this episode and i will see you guys next time where we will hopefully start going down one of the we'll start on one of the other mods hopefully no guarantees but hopefully and see you then.